A particle of mass m and kinetic energy e, which is greater than zero, approaches sudden potential drop, v naught. So if I want to plot this potential, this is x, so this is v of x. Let's suppose a car or a particle coming from this direction and it sees a drop of the potential minus v naught. So now the question is, what is the probability that it will reflect back if the kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy divided by 3? So as usual, we're going to solve the Schrodinger equation and arrive to the solution of psi. So we have psi of x equals to a times e to the i k x plus b times e to the minus i k x this is for x greater than zero for x less than zero we have the solution f times e to the i l x x less than zero let's remind ourselves of what's k k is equal to the square root of 2 times m times e divided by h bar and l is defined as square root of 2m times e minus v naught divided by h bar so the first boundary conditions tells us that psi is continuous at x equals 0 so this is 1 and from this boundary condition, we get a plus b must equal to f. And the second boundary condition still tell us that the derivative is also continuous. So we have minus i k times a minus b is equal to i times l times f. So a plus b is equal to k over l times a minus b right just solve for f here and stick it over there all right so carry on for a little bit more so we have a times 1 minus k over l is equal to minus b times 1 plus k over l So now if we take b divided by a, what do we get? We get minus 1 minus k over, over l divided by 1 plus k over l. So putting this back into the reflected wave r is equal to the a o b over a a module square which is equal to one i mean l minus k divided by l plus k square so putting l and k in terms of e and v naught we get the square root of e plus v naught minus square root of e divided by the square root of e plus v naught plus square root of e and of course this is also squared simplify a little bit further we get square root of 1 minus v naught over e minus 1 divided by square root of 1 plus v naught divided by e plus 1 square and if you remember that e is equal to v naught over 3 so uh, substituting this into here we get 
square root of 1 plus 3 minus 1 divided by square root of 1 plus 3 plus 1. I'm sorry, this is a this is a positive. This is plus. This is also square. Which is equal to 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 square, which is equal to 1 over 9. So this is the probability that if you have a quantum particle traveling along the x direction and it sees a sudden drop in the potential there's a chance that it will reflect back equal to one ninth 